this video I'm going to work out an individual limit. It pretty much is just going to be a straightforward algebraic approach um, because that's usually some of the first beginning types of limits that um, at Calculus 1 students start with. So the first thing I'm going to do on this limit is do a direct substitution because you should always do that direct substitution to make sure you have an indeterminate form before you start your algebra manipulation. All right, so I'm going to take my 3 and I'm going to do a direct substitution there. 3 to the 4th power is going to give me an 81 minus the 81 on the top. All right, plugging in a 3 here is going to give me an 18, and then plugging in 3 here, minus 15, and then minus 3. That's definitely going to give me a 0 on top, and it's going to give me a 0 on the bottom. So there is that indeterminate form, which then tells you, okay, now you have to take another approach to the limit. You need to try something else, and so we are going to go with a factoring um, approach on this. The numerator is the difference of two squares, and the bottom is just a nice little trinomial that can be factored. So we're going to factor both the top and the bottom. We'll have the limit as x approaches 3. All right, in that numerator, I'm going to have an x squared plus 9 times an x squared minus 9. Factoring that trinomial in the bottom, I'm hoping at this point if you're in calculus you can factor those um, just by a guess and check method. So you've got a 2x plus a 1, and then you've got an x minus 3. Alright, and then at that point there's nothing yet crosses out, but if you continue to look at that you see another difference of two squares right there. So then we can factor again, so we'll have the limit as x approaches 3. The um, x squared plus 9 is going to stay. Again, factoring on that top, I'm going to have an x plus a 3 and an x minus a 3. I'm not going to do anything to that bottom at all, so I've got the 2x plus the 1, and I've got the x minus 3. All right, at this point, I can cross out the x minus 3s, which was the whole point of what we why we wanted to factor that and see what was going to happen. All right, now at this point, I can do a direct substitution. When I do the direct substitution, I drop my limit, limit notation here. 3 squared there is going to be a 9 plus a 9. Plugging in a 3 there, I'm going to have a 3 plus a 3. Plugging in 3 here, I will have a 6 plus 1. All right, doing the math here, I believe this is going to give me a 108 over 7. All right, so pretty much a straightforward a limit that you would do it very, very early on in a Calc 1 class. Um, but be sure and check for that direct substitution first because you don't want to just start factoring and crossing out unless you really, truly do have an indeterminate form. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks.